Greetings and thank you for joining us today in our time in God's Word and in prayer. This week we've been talking about how to test personal prophecy and prophetic words. We will add to our test. The next test we want to ask ourselves is this. Are there two or three witnesses to this personal prophecy? There's an instruction given in the Old Testament which is repeated in the New Testament. So the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, he quotes from Deuteronomy 19, verse 15, about the things he's been sharing uh, with the Corinthians. And he says, you know, this will be the third time I'm coming to you. And then he says, by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. Now, God had given that in the Old Testament as an instruction to verify and validate what is right and true. And the Apostle Paul is using it in a generic sense here in, in, in Corinthians. And so we can apply that also to our test of personal prophecy and prophetic words. Are there two or three witnesses to this prophetic word? That means has God spoken concerning that matter in two, three or more ways to you? So one of course is the witness of the Holy Spirit within your spirit. That's a very important witness. Second could be another prophecy, another dream, or maybe prophets from two or three other people concerning the same matter. Who are people who, of course, who have not met each other, have spoken to each other. They're not aware of what has already been spoken to you. So if there are two or three or more witnesses on that same matter concerning your life, then you can surely pay close attention to that word. And you need to, especially when very important things are in life, big decisions you're about to make, make sure that there are at least two or three witnesses to that word that was given to you, to that personal prophecy. And in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Now, all these witnesses don't have to be a prophetic word. One could be a prophetic word. One could be the inner witness in your spirit. Another could be a dream that you had, or it could be... God opening up a certain door which comes to you as a clear witness that, you know, God wants you to move in that direction. It, it could be, but at least two or three witnesses to that word. And then you move in line with that word. So ask God to confirm to at least two or three witnesses any word that you feel he's speaking to you. Now, let's pray. Father, we thank you that you teach us and instruct us. And may we hear the voice of your Holy Spirit behind us saying, or within us saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. May our ears be open to listen to our teacher, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.